D23 Southern California. It's a big Disney event. Why are we here? Star Wars Battlefront 2. That's right, there is Star Wars all over the show floor. We're going to get details on the next game coming to Xbox One. I've waited 30 years for this. This story takes place after the events of Return of the Jedi and will span through The Force Awakens. And we are going to be following Commander Aiden Versio, who is the leader of Special Forces Unit Inferno Squad for the Empire. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be seeing the events that we might be familiar with in the films from a totally new perspective. What can we expect from Battlefront 2 in terms of gameplay? So in terms of gameplay, we've got the breadth of both multiplayer and single player campaigns. So in the multiplayer, we are going to be spanning all three eras. So that means we've got prequel trilogy content, original trilogy content, new trilogy content. Um, we've got amazing space battles. And then we've got our um, single player campaign that's built off of the same great systems that Dyson Criterion are building for the multiplayer. So we're going to see a lot of the, the crossover of game mechanics and all of those different elements. And one of the, the really exciting things for Iden Versio herself, as uh, an Imperial agent, is she will have a droid that is specific to her that allows for some diversity of her gameplay specifically. I talked to Janina and she was telling us how excited she was to work on this project, as anybody yeah, would be. Sure. But also that she said it was really collaborative and she brought a lot to it. Tell us about what she brought to it. I mean, she brings everything. She is Iden. So yeah. when you think of a character and when you craft it, when the writers commit it to the page after hours and hours of conversation of who we want this person to be, Ultimately, that character is realized by the, the actor inhabiting them. Mm -hmm. And Janina was able to come in and, and understand Aiden and who she was and, and why she was making choices, where she came from, and able to embody that in a really wonderful way. So she brings the actual personality. She brings Aiden to life. All right, I'm here with Janina Gavankar. Janina, I am so excited to talk to you. You and I have known each other for a long yeah. time. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I, you know, we haven't chatted in a while. I read on the internet, you're in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh did my that. God. This is unbelievable. Tell us about your character. She is a commander. Mm -hmm. Her name is Aiden Versio. Mm -hmm. She is the commander of an elite special ops imperial unit. Mm -hmm. um, they're like the cleanup crew. Sure. You send us in, we fix your problem. Well, how did you tap into your inner darkness? <laughs> well, you know, everybody, every villain is the hero of their own story. Mm -hmm. So you might see the dark side as villainous, but I'll tell you, it is the correct side of things. <laughs> We're trying to bring peace and order to the galaxy. That's all we want. You've been involved with a lot of different television shows and, and movies, and uh, production for video games is slightly different. It's much, you know, you go into the studio a few years before, you lay down your tracks. What has been your involvement in this, the development of the game and the character? So I have done performance capture in video games before. Mm -hmm. um, but the one thing that was really unexpected in this experience was how collaborative it would be. This is one of the most collaborative experiences I've ever had in any medium. We have been allowed as actors to work with the writers and the producers and military consultants and the story group mm -hmm. to make sure this is an authentic Star Wars experience. Mm -hmm. So we've had talks about what happens in Imperial families and on Imperial home planets. Yeah. We've talked about the culture of the Imperial life. Mm -hmm. So um, it was easy to step into her big boots. Yeah. Then uh, they're quite big now. <laughs> Your character is a powerful female, and that's something that we love seeing in video games more so lately, and that's something I know you have a passion around, correct? It's amazing to see all these female characters coming out now, which right. means that that started getting seated in the industry five years ago. Right. Half a decade it took. Right. So it's all coming out right now for a female gamer. That's really exciting. Right. For women in general, which is half of the planet, it's right. very ex exciting. And also, it doesn't. this is not a gendered experience. Right. You are a badass elite soldier. Right. It doesn't matter if you're a doesn't girl or a boy. Yeah. 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 So that is all very exciting to me. And it means a lot to me, yeah. There is a book that is coming out July 25th. It is about the backstory and the dawn of Inferno Squad. Okay. And in the first chapter, oh my gosh, that was almost a spoiler. But we talk about Vader. Right, that's it. That's all you can say. Say no more. Say no more. So there's a book coming out that's going to really set us up. And were you, you were involved with the book? They let me voice the audiobook. What is this? How are you getting these I'm gigs? This is unbelievable. You, I can't believe they're letting me do these so things. So you, you have this entire audiobook. You're in the video game. I mean, what's next? I don't know, but please let it be so many other things. Are you, being in, the, are you in the next film? Someone, please tell me if that's a real yeah. thing. Who's your favorite Star Wars character? I mean, Lord Vader is... Okay. Yeah. Well, you, you know, you know, you know. Why I'm asking that because I he's, thought you'd answer that. He's pretty amazing. And yeah. I don't know if we can get a shot of this, but I, I have 
my Lord Vader. Oh socks on. my gosh! Do you are you getting this? <laughs> Thank you for your time. So good to so see good to you. See man. you.